I seriously can't believe I'm starting uni tomorrow. I'm so excited. Are you getting, are you ready? Ready? Are you kidding me? I caught her trying to memorise the timetable earlier. Living on the edge, April. But if you like that stuff, maybe you could organise the uh, wedding. <gasps> what? No. Um, how about we just enjoy the engagement first? <laughs> so tell me, love, is it Dex's first day tomorrow too? Yeah, he just texts me to say good luck. And is he as keen as you are? Yeah, I, I just hope he's going to go. Go? He's going to love it. You'll be there with all the other nerds who like reading and writing and all that you know, uni stuff. <laughs> My fiancé, the intellectual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Dal. Hey. What can I get you? Did I just hear correctly? He's proposed. Uh, yeah, love. Yeah, you heard right. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Bianca would have told you if she'd had the chance. Oh, yeah, she doesn't owe me anything. Yeah, still, it must be pretty hard to hear. No, no, I'm happy for it. Oh, it's always a little tricky when your ex moves on. I might get a light over you. Of course not. Is it right? Hey? Oh, hi. Don't, don't mind us. Uh, Miss Scott, come with me to my bedroom. There's something I need to show you right now. Again, <laughs> don't mind us. Why don't we go to the gym and work off some of this excess energy of yours? I wouldn't be caught dead in that place. What, because of what Romeo said? Actually, I forgot to tell you. Pretty boy did a full 180 and practically begged me to work for him. <laughs> Told him you get stuffed, the loser. You what? <clears throat> Let's get the rest from there. My shift doesn't start for an hour. Oh, you can stay and watch the fireworks. No worries. Good luck. <clears throat> so what, you couldn't have just swallowed your pride for once? I wasn't good enough before, remember? Oh, this is you trying to change, is it? Change, yes. Dormat, no. You were doing this for your brother. And Casey will still have a job when he gets back. No guarantee of that now, is there? Fine. I'll speak to Romeo. Okay? You happy? Yes. So does that mean I can have a little bit of a... Oh, no. You huddle? need to learn some self-control. Self-control? Yeah. I'll show you some self-control right now. <laughs> Hello. That's you, Paul. Hey. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, easy, easy, Swartanaka. Come up. up, up, up. All right, all right. Okay, come down with me for four, one, two, three, four, push. Okay, nice work. You take a breather. When I come back out, we'll do three sets of eight. Stick into that tempo, okay? Nice work. Cheers. What's doing, mate? We're not here for a haircut. Get a wriggle on, huh? You know, I'm in need of a personal training program. Maybe we could go somewhere and you could write me one up. Um, I would certainly love to help you with that, miss, but right now I'm in charge. I can't. Well, if you're in charge, surely you can take a break. Can you please show a little bit of self-control? Mm. Mm. <laughs> one second, yeah? Carl is going after Casey's girl. That's how us Braxtons do it. That's ridiculous. Look, I gave him a good scare, okay? And besides, I don't think tomorrow I'd go there. You sure? Well, she pretty much hates it. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I didn't like you when you were chasing me. Yes, but I'm awesome. You Braxtons have a history of relentlessly pursuing women. Okay, I'll okay. get, get your point. Right. I'll make you a sandwich. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I left work. Now. Has Romeo been, been calling to work for you, has he? Mm, I've been doing so good, he's off me a permanent job. That's great. Did you talk to him about my shift? Did you even know when you can start? Well, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit here and, and try and relax. Yeah, cool. My stitches get out tomorrow, OK? I'm wondering if there's going to be any work after you stop taking on my turf. Heath wouldn't do that. Oh, Heath would do whatever he wants, wouldn't you? One brother taking another brother's turf. Now, what kind of dog would do that, huh? What are you talking about, Kyle? What no, nothing. Relax. What I'm saying is Romeo needs both of us to work, so it's win-win, eh? Oh, I don't trust you. That's the point. Well, you got your wind gym. Hey, you still have to deal with big brother. I huh? just want to watch the game here. The football. Let me watch the football. Why? It's a delayed telecast. We get hammered. Yeah. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> We're sorting out everybody's problems. Do you like living with a roof over your head? 
Yeah, but... And don't do that. Now, Heath, you're unhappy with the current living conditions at the house. Not crazy about them. Will you pack your stuff and move to Irene's? I can't ah. do that. Will you find somewhere else or stop crying about it? And what's the go with Darcy? Hey, you keep putting off going to see her lawyers because you're afraid of what they might say. Where is that getting you? I'll make the call. Good. Casey, what's, what's the go? Are you living with Natalie or what? Uh, I haven't talked to Natalie, but I don't want to leave tomorrow. Well, you leave that one with me, but with the gym, you let Heath get on with it until you're better. As long as he understands that. Oh, he understands that. Trust me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. I said yes. And tomorrow. Yes, sir. I want you to go to Kyle's lawyer and explain to them that you're not going to testify against him. I'm kidding. Does it look like I'm kidding to you? I want this over and done with so you can start managing this place. What? what? Don't make him repeat it. I'm making you manager of the restaurant starting now. So what, you just hand the business over just like that? Well, you want another crack at it? Hell no. <laughs> Kyle? Yeah. OK, I'll, I'll step up. Good. Tomorrow? I'll talk to the lawyers. Uh, what do I do? I don't care. Really, I just thought you should be across all this. Unless you've got a problem too. Oh, no. No, no, no. Good. Anyone else? Right, well, that was fun. <laughs> 